Hey, hey, y'all! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Surprised to see a video on this channel. Let me turn down the music on this thing. I thought I'd do a little Animal Crossing, this is my Cribs, uh, crib style video. Show off my house in Animal Crossing. I was, I've been meaning to do this for a while, but I, there's always been something I wanted to add to the house, but I think I finally have realized it's never going to be perfect. It's always going to be changing. So this is my house as of 9.15 at 11 14 a.m. there thank god the date is there because i don't know what the hell day it is um we'll start with the exterior as you can see i've opted for the mermaid exterior with the zen style house um except with i think that's the fairy tale roof the mermaid roof was just a little too much as you can tell i like to keep things really subtle here in my town so let's go inside let's check it out there's my hands. <laughs> Thank God you can't see my face. <laughs> Alright, here is my entrance room. I recently just maxed out all of my rooms. Um, I like to keep it really zen here when you first walk in, you know. I want to keep it pretty low-key, pretty calming, pretty whatever. Uh, so I collected the minimalist... Minimal? Minimalism? Minimalist furniture set. I've got the bed, but it just really wouldn't make sense to put a bed in your living room, obviously. So, um, I don't have it out, and I have the neutral wall and the neutral floor, but they just, I just like these better. Um, so these are out. And of course my really awesome ogre mask up there. So we're just keeping it pretty low-key and zen in here. I've got a Wii balance board, just like in real life, that I never use. <laughs> So yeah, keeping it pretty consistent. Some relaxing music. Cute. All right, my back room. This is my bedroom. This is where things start getting a little bit gaudy. Here we have the Rococo set. My Rococo bedroom. All customized in pink. Um... And with this little pink bear that's customized, Bob gave him to me. Bob's one of my villagers. I've you know, I've talked about him in one of my videos before. He's my crush. He's got his picture right here on the mantle, too. Oops. Yeah, see, he gives me pictures of him. You know, he writes little messages on him because he loves me. So this is sort of just like my fancy... Makes me feel like Marie Antoinette. Before she got her head chopped off, of course. Not after. And uh, right now my mannequin has my Halloween costume on it because I'm I'm getting ready for Halloween. Halloween's coming up. It's my favorite. So just sort of getting prepared here and there. Thank God. Yeah, you can't see me. <laughs> the worst part about playing Animal Crossing is that loading screen when it's black and you catch your reflection and you're just like, Ugh. it's a nightmare. I need to clean the screen, too. This is, like, my office. It's also where I, like, collect my artifacts. Kind of like Tomb Raider. I sort of pretend I'm Lara Croft. The Egypt-themed stuff is my favorite. As you can see, I've got a little, uh, little collection of it. I want the throne, though. Um, but I don't have Anka in my village. I really, I, I want her. Although I don't want to lose any of my other villagers either, so it's a, you can tell I have a, a lot of hard decisions to make in my life. Um, I got my laptop, my typewriter, I try to collect paintings, a lot of them are fake. I collected the David because penis and butt, obviously, right there. <laughs> Gotta have a little something something in your office. Um... Otherwise, it's pretty standard in here. Not a whole lot going. No themes, no whatever. Just whatever whatever goes in here. I always try to have only one light source because the like the overhead light sources just seem way too bright. It's just my my elderly eyes, my old eyes. Um, my lovely telephone, which tells me my fortune every day, which is just fantastic. Um. So let's go to my other room. Okay, right across the way here is... 
my gardening room slash sort of other computer room. I like to have a computer in as many rooms as possible, just like in real life. Um, I collected all the bonsais. I was obsessed with the bonsais. I finally just recently got the last one. Um, it's got these gaudy, awful flower arrangements on the wall in a few different places. Got my hammock so I can rest, take a little break. Obviously, I'm working really hard. And I have a washer and a dryer because um, when I lived in Philadelphia, I didn't have the luxury of having a washer or a dryer. And um, it just makes me feel at home. Just makes me happy to have a washer slash dryer in the house. And a karaoke machine, of course. So I can brush up on my singing. On my tunes. Um, that lucky frog. I don't think he does anything. I don't think he's really even a lucky item. He's just there. And of course, um, my writing desk with my letters, all my fan mail from all of the villagers. Because, you know, I'm the mayor. I gotta keep up writing letters to everyone. <laughs> way too much thought into this. <laughs> it makes me happy. That's all that matters. Alright, let's go down to the basement. When I first put my dream code in one of my videos, my basement wasn't done. It just had a lot of uh, torture device looking things. And someone left a comment and they were like, why is your basement like a torture room? And I was like, why is your basement not like a torture room? But now mine is more sort of like a torture room slash evil genius headquarters. Like I've still got the electric bed and the electric chair. Computer, of course. Gotta keep it real. But then we also have like um, the globe to check up on everything captain's chair so that I can, you know, keep an eye on my villagers and when they get out of line. I think you know what happens to them. You see these skeletons on the walls. You can connect the dots there. And of course the copy machine. Because every evil genius needs a copy machine. And for a while I think I had the lab floor down in here which I really like but it didn't really match once I had the evil genius stuff in here along with the torture devices. And I haven't been able to find a wall that I really like so I just made my own. Um, so that may change someday. And the exit sign of course so you know where to go. And a paper lantern and an, a little azalea bonsai. Is that an azalea bonsai? Whatever it is, you know, to, to spruce things up. Keep it happy up in here. Alright, let's go to the attic. The attic is not as creepy as the basement. I don't think it's creepy at all. It used to, I used to have um, the alien spaceship in here and some other spaceship, but I got rid of them. This is like my star galaxy themed room. And I've been really lucky lately, because whenever I trade with my villagers, they've been giving me... Um, star, space themed, whatever. And I just got the moon today, which is fantastic. I got it from one of those um, houses, How those houses you pick up on your Wi-Fi or whatever. I don't know, HRA, HHA, whatever. Moon Vanity was of course the free item this month, I think. Um, but this is the newest room that I've just started collecting for. So, it's definitely the one that's the most work in progress. Gorgeous. I need some shit on the walls, though. I like the lunar surface, but I couldn't find a wall that I liked. I don't have the lunar wall, so I just had to... I made my own wall for this room, too. It'll probably change eventually. I don't know, I kind of like this, though. And the flowers are because they kind of look like stars. So, you know, I thought they were really pretty. <laughs> I put way too much thought into my Animal Crossing houses. Is that it? I think I showed y'all everything. Yes, yeah, stop by sometime. I'll put my dream code in the description. Um, so, you know, come have a little cup of tea in my house. Casa de Joe. Um, I'm thinking about redoing the outside to more, like, <laughs> not so gaudy. I don't know, it kind of fits me, though. But, uh, hopefully I'll make some more gaming videos now that I've got some 
motivation. I don't know if there'll be Animal Crossing. I've been meaning to play the new Tomb Raider um, now that I've got it on PC, too. Um, something else I wanted to say. Oh, I'll do a little video of maybe my village sometime. Uh, my village is nothing special, but I don't really want to show it to you until the Sphinx is done. I'm having a Sphinx built in my honor, of course. In my mind, that it's in my honor as the mayor slash god. Um, so that's it. This has been MTV Cribs. I've never seen MTV Cribs, so I don't know if that's what they say at the end. But uh, I'm sure I'll see you guys on this channel eventually sometime. Bye. I'd make him wave if he could wave. Whatever.